Fly ash is used in various construction applications like concrete, bricks for soil stabilization and even for embankments of grey construction. It is a byproduct of coal combustion and if left unattended in the environment, it can get converted into hazardous material. In this video, we will be discussing the top 10 benefits of fly ash in construction. Number 1. Fly ash is a cost-effective substitute for Portland cement. Fly ash itself is a waste product which is produced in a humongous amount around the world. It is classified as Class F and Class C fly ash. Both can be used as a partial or complete substitute for ordinary Portland cement based on the application. Hence, compared to the cost of OPC, the use of fly ash is a cost-effective option. Number 2. Fly ash has low embodied energy. Fly ash is a byproduct of the coal combustion process. Hence, it is a material that does not demand high energy consumption for its manufacture or production. OPC manufacture has high embodied energy as its production requires a great deal of heat or energy consumption. So, fly ash material is a low embodied energy material that can be used for the construction of low embodied energy buildings. Number 3. Fly ash demands less water. Fly ash particles are spherical in shape that helps to increase the fluidity of the concrete mix. This decreases the water demand of fly ash compared to OPC. For example, for each 10% of the fly ash added, a decrease in water demand of 3% is achieved. Number 4. Fly ash increases the workability. The spherical shape of fly ash particle increases the fluid behavior, hence the workability of the concrete. Compared to a 100% OPC cement concrete, a fly ash incorporation achieves more workability with less water content. This advantage is mostly used for the construction using pumped concrete. Number 5. Fly ash produces quality hydration products. Fly ash is a porcelanic material which undergo porcelanic reaction when they are used in concrete manufacture. The fly ash under porcelanic reaction with byproduct calcium hydroxide, which is in turn a byproduct of the reaction of cement and water, again develop more entergates by consuming the calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide or CH is a demerit to concrete strength. This demerit material is being consumed by the presence of fly ash, which creates more aggregates, which increases the quality of hydration products, hence a more quality concrete is obtained. Number 6 is fly ash produces dense and impermeable concrete. Fly ash produces good quality hydration products that fill all possible voids in the concrete. The main cause of voids in concrete are incomplete hydration products, incomplete cement granules and the presence of calcium hydroxide, that is CH. So all these are being consumed by fly ash reaction, that is the porcelanic reaction, which enables the filling of voids. Hence, a dense and impermeable concrete is achieved. Number 7. Fly ash produce high resistance to sulfate and chemical attack. Fly ash produces concrete that is highly impermeable and increases its resistance to sulfate and chemical attack. CH presence in concrete is make more vulnerable the concrete to the chemical resistance or to chemical attack. So, the presence of fly ash in concrete can help reduce this amount of reaction with chemical present in the outside environment. Number 8 is fly ash reduces cracks. Cracks during construction as well as after the concrete construction are reduced by fly ash in concrete as their presence produces dense, impermeable concrete structure. In addition to this, the heat of hydration is very less compared to the ordinary Portland cement reaction which reduces the possibilities of small shrinkage cracks and related micro cracks that can further in future lead to large cracks. Number 9 is fly ash reduces carbon dioxide emissions compared to the normal concrete products. Number 10 is fly ash produce high strength concrete. 
the incorporation of fly ash in concrete itself helped to produce high quality entry gate products that are the main strength giving factor to concrete. The incorporation of admixtures along with an optimum quantity of cement, fly ash, water content can help develop a high strength concrete for high bed applications of concrete structures.